biological dentist, or I must say a consequent biological dentist, will look at root canals critically because a root canal is a dead tooth. It's a dead organ. A tooth actually qualifies as an organ because it has a blood supply, a lymph supply, an autonomic nervous system, and it's basically an elongation of your whole brain. Any tooth stands on the trigeminal nerve, and the trigeminal nerve is the number five of 12 cranial nerves, which, which actually start in your brainstem, and it's kind of like an elongation of your brain, like an eye. Because dentistry 100 years ago wasn't a medical profession, it was more just the high-tech craftsmanship, which is still the basis of it. But because of this, dentists or what you learn in university is still just looking for how to repair tooth and keep the tooth as a biting structure. In conventional dentistry, the goal is to restore the bite and repair teeth. A root canal treatment is basically a pain treatment. You have a massive cavity or whatever or trauma and it hurts like hell and the dentist just tries to keep your tooth for biting by taking out the blood supply, the lymph supply, the autonomic nervous system and putting in some sort of material to have it stable for biting. And this works. This works for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever. Because of better scans, we are now able to see a root canal tooth or anything in your mouth from a three-dimensional perspective. Before, it was only possible to see 2D. That means you probably missed a lot of things. A root canal tooth is a D-vital tooth. It's just basically an organic substance that still stays in your mouth. So there are a few different challenges for root canal treated tooth from a biological point of view. There is no more blood supply, there is no lymph supply, no autonomic nervous system. It's basically a dead organ in your body. If you look at the microscopic structure, you have the perfect cave for anaerobic bacteria, which will then compartmentalize. These bacteria have their metabolism and they will metabolize proteins, amino acids from your food supply into all sorts of toxic byproducts. Thioether and mercaptanes are these volatile sulfur compounds that are produced by these bacteria. They are toxic and you can also become allergic. Because the tooth rots over time, there are byproducts like putrescin and cadaverins which are toxic in themselves and again you can become allergic to it. So it's double whammy. And the last thing is the materials that we put into a endodontic treated tooth, a root canal treated tooth, even if it's done by the perfect endodontic specialist, they are in itself problematic because they can become stressors for your immune system like colophonium or paruba balm, stuff that you put in there or even the sealers contain heavy metals like silver or metals like silver and in itself can become again a toxicity problem and an immune problem. It has never been a good idea to leave a dead organ in your body. No other medical department will leave anything dead on your body. Just always think of a like a black finger or like a gangrenous toe from a diabetic food. Everybody knows that this will spread into your whole blood system and from there it's within one minute it's everywhere in your body. If bacteria or mainly anaerobic bacteria compartmentalize in these rotten teeth or in these root canal treated teeth and there's no more immune system you basically have a chronic infection in your tooth. But if you have an immune system, it will react to this. But because of the tiny microstructure of a tooth, the dentin tubules, they are very tiny and bacteria can change their structure and basically they can live in there. But your immune system, the macrophages that are there to kind of like eat everything, they can't go in there. So I'm always describing this for my patient as the cat and mouth principle, being the bacteria in, in the caves of the dentin being the mouth and your macrophages which are basically there to present to the immune system or basically eat all the stuff are surrounding it. So if you have an immune system you will have a chronic inflammation there and this shows on three-dimensional x-rays like the cone beam and you always find any sort of periapical processes like you could be having a big cyst on a root canal treated tooth it could be laterally, it could be uh, underneath, or it could also be more to the inside, which you would not see on a two-dimensional x-ray. So it's really important to look from a 3D point of view and have a 
good new cone beam scan to diagnose a root canal. The immune system will make a chronic inflammation by producing cytokines, TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta, NF-kappa-B, etc. and make your body go into a pro-inflammatory state. Imagine having a pro-inflammatory state 24-7. You know it can lead to all sorts of problems in your overall body.